Hey guys, well, today I am one week postpartum. I had Charlotte a week ago tonight at 9.30. So, um, yeah, the city you guys know, she's all here, safe and town. Um, we only came home from hospital yesterday. I was in hospital for six days, so, um, yeah, I'll get to more of the detail of it, but um, the crash bang story is um, that I went into labor on um, Tuesday, the 14th of September, at about 2.20 in the morning, um, straight into five minute apart contraction. Um, and we went to the maternity center and stuff like that, and yeah, long story cut short, um, she didn't progress well, and um, my civics didn't really dilate, and she was, her presentation was just never going to work, and um, she had to call around her neck four times in the end, um, which we found out after an emergency section. So um, we're very, very, very lucky um, that she came through the sunroof. Um, yeah, she's a really, really good baby, so I guess it's going to make up for all the crap I've been through. But um, I'll get to more into that in my labor and delivery video when I get a chance to make those. I will. But yeah, um, so I had her at 41 weeks and two days. So yeah, she was nine days overdue. Um, yeah, she was born on the 14th, uh, yeah, 9.30 at night. And uh, she weighed seven pounds, two ounces, which is a lot less than what I thought she would be. I was swore she was going to be like eight and a half pounds at least. Um, but yeah, she's tiny. Um, and she's three inches long. And her circumference was... 35 and a half centimeters. Um, so yeah, she's a gorgeous big girl. Her full name, full name is Charlotte Amelia Rose. And um, she's like a freak. She's just had to be, so she's a freak on the other one. Um, and she just had her one week um, midwife check up thing. Um, they check everything, and everything is absolutely perfect. There's nothing at all hinting at anything wrong with her, which is awesome. Um, and her head's gone up to 36 and a half, so she's gone a whole centimeter bigger around her head. Um, and she's only five grams off her birth weight. So she's gained, apparently she's gained 55 grams like overnight, because they weighed her yesterday before we went to the hospital as well. So yeah, I, I blame my awesome milk for that. I have a, an insane flow of milk, so I'm very, very lucky. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, my scar feeling really, really well. Um, I've only been fully mobile probably for like two days. Um, but yeah, I can do pretty much whatever I like now, with a reason, of course. But um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, and like Matthew's a really, really great dad, so everything works out awesome. But yeah, I guess I will show you her um, and then my belly and I will make a labor and delivery video. It'll probably be two parts because it's seriously like everything that just about could go wrong other than she stayed went wrong. So <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a two-parter. I can guarantee you that. Um, and I'll make that hopefully in the next couple of days or so um, when she's free. She sleeps every four hours or should get a good chance. See ya. Show you hair. There's a lot of hair. <laughs> there wasn't a nurse in the hospital that didn't comment on the hair. So that's my little girl. So yeah, so I will make that video soon, guys, and uh, keep an eye out for it. And I will get, I will show you my belly, and then I'll catch you later. So that's me at one week. Hey, Cody. Um, yeah, one week postpartum. So I'm getting pretty flat already. I would say, for a C-section, but yeah.
So yeah, I will see you guys soon. Um, when she's down next, I'll start making my labor and delivery. It's a long one, trust me. So um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.